Hello everyone, I'm about to show you the fastest way how to launch a SaaS website. I'm going to show you how to customize a Webflow template under 5 minutes. And while doing that, I will also share with you the important strategies every SaaS owner should know. So make sure you watch this video until the end. Without further ado, my name is Ciaro, let's get started. Alright, before we begin with the customization tutorial, I'm going to quickly just walk you through each important page and I will explain you what strategy is implemented in it. So let's start it with solutions. This template specifically has two personas that I'm targeting. It's freelancers and business owners. And on this page, you pretty much just talk specifically to that persona. It's homepage tra translated into uh, the persona's language. For persona, in the Figma that's included free in this with this template, you can you can follow this simple format. So that's solution pages. Next one on the list is university. University has tutorials, resources, and documents. Tutorials, as the name says, is pretty much series of modules and tutorials that uh, that are trying to explain your product and that are trying to educate your customers. Next one are resources. Resources are lead generation pages. At the end of each uh, sales page, there is a small section with resources. And what we are trying to do, if the customer is not purchasing the product, we at least try to offer him or her uh, free downloadable resources. We take their email and we can use it later for marketing. That's resources. Last within the university sections are help documents and here we are pretty much describing in depth every single detail about our product. So uh, I will show you how it looks. This is the UI. On the left side you see categories, on the right side you see more related docs within the category. That was university. Next on the list will be blog. Let's check the blog section. Blog is pretty straightforward. It's meant to bring on organic traffic. I think I don't need to explain it any further. Next on the list is carriers. Uh, you know, quite a lot of, a lot of time uh, companies, they use a lot of different services, but the strategy for this template is to centralize everything in Webflow and their powerful CMS. So with this template, you can pretty much do the whole hiring process because uh, people can apply for a job here. That's carriers. Next one is case studies. Case studies, it's also like blog, it's pretty straightforward. You have uh, some amazing work done and you want the wor world to know about it. You simply write a case study. It's a social proof used pretty much by every startup or SaaS uh, business. What's gonna be next? Uh, next, there is changelog. This one is slightly different strategy. It's aiming to save you some costs because you want your dev team to focus only on app and uh, ideally you want to handle things like changelog or product feedback on the website so that the dev team has time for the product. So he, here you will be logging all changes you do to the product and on the feedback page you can send your customers to this page and you can collect the feedback here and your dev team has finally more time to do the business important tasks. Next one, last two things, comparison example. I love this type of landing page because quite often uh, people search for your competitors and this page is meant to show up while they are doing that and they can pretty much compare the competi competitor's product with your product and because your product is a lot better, they might take some of their customers. 
And last thing I would like to show you is offer, offer page. Offer page is pretty much a page for every sales strategy you will have, like a discount code, or it can be even for Black Friday. And it consists of the most important elements, uh, such as, you know, some header, brief info, testimonials, uh, FAQs, and then there is a section with the code. If we don't get the customer to purchase, as always, we try to get their email address and we will later use that email for marketing. So that was the showcase of the features and strategies that this template is using. Next one uh, is the customization example. So let's get started. For customization, I prepared a small branding. It consists of a logo, typography and two brand colors. So let's customize our template to match this branding. First thing I want to do is to select the primary color. I like this plugin to generate shades. I'm gonna do it to the secondary color too. And now what I need to do is to copy the values one by one into our Webflow project. The entire project is built with variables. So the only thing you need to do is to input the shades and the rest such as surface colors border colors will be generated based on the on the shades for shades i'm using tilewind uh, framework strategy i name my shades from 50 to 950 just watch out currently webflow does not allow to sort uh, variables so it's not in order but once they allow it i will quickly get it fixed so let's do that i'm gonna go back and forth and i will do this to all values now i completed the primary color and i'm gonna do exactly the same thing to the secondary color I just completed the secondary color too. And as you can see, my uh, tokens have been updated. So let's see how it looks like on the side. I'm gonna close variables, voila. Here we have the customized colors on our website. Next step is typography. For typography, let's head over to site settings, fonts, Let's delete the fonts that are in the current template. I'm using DM Sans for headlines and Roboto for paragraphs. All right, that's it. Let's head back to designer. Let's head over to variables all the way down to typeface. My primary typeface, typeface is Roboto and secondary typeface is DM Sans. And if I close the variables, I can see that the project is updated. Couple of clicks and we have customized typography and colors. And the next thing we want to do is to update the logo. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna export it, I'm gonna upload the logo to the project and I'm gonna simply update the picture. Don't forget to write the alt description. All right, so with just a couple of clicks, we updated the colors and typography. And now I also want to update the pattern that's on the background of each hero, sec hero section. Let's go to Figma. Let's go to this grid. If you want this Figma file, it's free. Uh, just send me a confirmation of the purchase and I will transfer the Figma file to you. 
gonna upload the graphics and I'm gonna head over to this section select the image I will slightly update its width 960 centered let's do a little more I like this voila the hero section is customized last thing I recommend to check is components page because on the components page you also have animations all animations of hero sections are done with this with these three classes is first scroll in is second scroll in and is third scroll in if you wish to change how hero sections are animated simply head over to interactions and update the interactions and that's it that's the first round of customization elevate template if you would like to continue further you obviously need to update the copy i love to use ChatGPT for that and if you want to improve customer experience um, you can also implement make.com for automations you can set what's gonna happen when a customer submits the form if it's gonna land to your google sheet it can send an email to the customer etc if you need assistance with that just contact me uh, the link is below this video and if you simply have some questions ask them in the comment sections and i will answer everything thank you for your attention i hope this was useful have a good day ciao